Hello and welcome to Gatherings of Wild Imaginings. I'm Kirsty from Rogue Theatre and I'm a visual artist. I work with Rogue to transform wild spaces and create installations that lead wanderers into wild story worlds. Inspired by the story Pirates of Plastic, I invite you to join me to make a recycled fish. Or if you're feeling a little bit more ambitious, you can create your own recycled sea theme installation for your window or your garden. This is an activity for all ages, but some may need a little hand from a grown up. Now then, the first thing that you need to do is you need to have a little look around the house and find all the different things that would normally end up in the recycling bin, such as bottles, maybe these like plastic cartons. Um, also things like bin bags are great, especially if you want to make your work into an installation at the end of it. Now the first thing you need to do is you need to take yourself a bottle. Obviously you need to make sure that it's empty first. And then with your scissors, you need to very carefully cut the bottom of the bottle like so. Now you need to be really careful at this point because some plastics are slightly thicker than others so they're quite sharp. So definitely help from a grown up at this section. Once you've got your bottle like this, what you need to do is you need to squash it down. And it's an idea if you don't have the lid on it, then all the air can come out at the end. Squash it down like so. And then you're going to take yourself a pen and you're going to draw the fins and the tail onto your bottle. So I'll just draw these on very quickly, like so. Now because the bottle is obviously clear, it's going to be quite hard for you to see the actual shape. So what I've done is I've just drawn a little diagram to show you how to draw on your fins and your tail. Okay. Then what you need to do is you need to get your scissors and you cut the pieces of plastic. Again, really, really careful at this point because some of the edges can be quite sharp. Okay. If I just cut into this tail shape, you should now be able to see, oops, there we go. It's turned into more of a fish shape. Okay, what you then need to do is then just make sure that the bottle is just pushed back out again so you end up with that really nice round body on your fish. Now the next thing you need to do is you just need to get some tape and just tape down the edges of each of the tail and what you'll do is you'll find that this is just actually going to help it stick together a little bit more. It doesn't really matter what, what, which type of tape that you use. Um, all you need to do is just make sure that it's nice and secure, like so. Okay, it's got another little bit on that side. Oops. There we go. So, you now have your basic fish shape. And this is where the fun bit starts, because you now need to start thinking about how you're going to decorate it. And that'll depend on whether you're going to have your installation inside your house or outside. If it's inside, you could add things like tissue paper to it. You might even want to add some card and make the fins a little bit bigger, all sorts of things that it doesn't matter, because obviously it's not going to get wet inside. However, if it is going to be going in the garden, you need to be thinking about adding things like plastics. And this is where things like these boxes come in handy, because again, you can add bigger fins and tails to your fish. Uh, a couple of things that I've made here and um, this one I basically stuffed it full of bin bags and then I had a lot of these like little old um, fridge magnet letters so I've put those into it and made a nice colourful fish on this one. Um, another one here that I did again stuffed this one full of bin bags um, cut out some plastic wrapped it around to actually make the little stripes on the fish and then made this tail. Now to make the tails are really really easy. This is where you need to grab your bin bag, okay, and all you need to do is cut a strip off like so, okay. Now then, the best thing to do is make sure that you just leave it stuck together at the top like that, and that means you don't end up with little bits of plastic flying all over the place. And then all you do is you just start twisting it like so, and you'll find if you twist it tight enough, it should stay twisted when you let go of it, like so. Okay, so what you can do is you can either make bigger strips like this, and it ends up looking a little bit like seaweed, or if you cut it down a little bit, you can then add it onto your fish to make these um, little tail tails, and then also another little example on that one as well. And like I said, they stay nice and twisted, so they should actually stick out like so. 
Now then, another really good thing that you can do with this is you can actually make yourself some fishing nets. And all you do for this is, again, is I just took lots and lots of strips of these and then I just knotted them together to make this kind of um, large fishing net. And the great thing about this as well is once you get your fish at the end of it, you can actually weave it into the fishing net like so. And it should hopefully stay in place like so. Now then, other things that you can do, oops, back down there, other things you can do is you can actually paint your fish. Now, because obviously this is plastic, sometimes, um, well, you basically need to have a certain type of paint. So it's either gonna have to be acrylic or any sort of paint that you use outdoors. Um, and then you can paint nice little patterns on them. These little things at the bottom were just um, parts of another bottle that I just cut up, um, covered again in plastic bags and made these like little fish bubbles to go underneath to make a little mobile. Now, if you don't have any acrylic paint, don't worry at all, because there's lots of other things you can do. You could use felt-tip pens, or you could use watercolour paint, and you can paint pictures onto pieces of paper. And then all you do is you can just pop them inside your fish, and you can also put things like messages in there, um, and all sorts of um, other things. So if you just push it into the end. There we go. You'll find you can still end up with a really colourful fish and you can also even use things like watercolour paint on things like kitchen roll or even toilet roll as well and again fold it up put it inside your fish on that one. Now then if you're feeling even more creative you can have a go at making oops, there we go. you can have a go at making a wall hanging. Now this again is just basically um, lots and lots of strips of plastic bags I've woven them together, had a little go at doing a little bit of macrame at the top there as well. Um, and then I've just basically fastened the fish into that as well and then found some beads and you can add all sorts of things onto it to decorate it afterwards. And the great thing about this is because it's waterproof, it can go out in your garden all year round as well. So, the great thing about this project is you can keep adding more and more fish to them every single week. So think about whether you want to make a sea scene in your window or whether you want to make an installation out in your garden. Now we'd love to see your creations and installations and invite you to share images of your fish or sea scenes in the post below. Keep eyes peeled for future stories and activities here and we hope to see you soon either in the woods or at another gatherings of wild imaginings. Thank you. Mm -hmm.